all, it's Lynn from Lynn's Kinky Creations, and today I have a crochet wig feature for you all. Now this hair that I'm going to be showing you all is from Model Model, and it is their bottom twist in 14 inches. Now I've already done about two videos on this particular hair, but I wanted to come back and show you all how the unit turned out. So if you guys watched my first, pre my first video on this hair, you guys know that I purchased it in a color 1B. And as another video after that showing where I ran out of hair. And then I decided to go ahead and purchase the hair again because they have some really pretty new colors. So I was able to actually complete the style and I want to show you guys how it turned out and give you my ideas and you know my pros and my cons. So I'll leave the previous videos, I'll link those below in the description box if anyone's interested in checking those out. And this is the stock card from the Bomb Twist. And the color is TR Plum. And this is what the hair looks like. I have a few, I have some strands here left over. So this is what they look like. <clears throat> Excuse me guys, the weather is changing here in New York. So um anyway. So I have the unit here, so I'm just going to talk about how I made it and, you know, what I used to create it. So I used a 4x4 lace closure and I also constructed this unit on a stretch mesh dome cap. And I did bleach the knots as well. So this is what the closure looks like here. And then I went ahead and attached the... Um, bomb twist to the hair on the closure so once I attached it I kind of like intertwined it in into the twist so that it will blend in seamlessly so this is what it looks like and as you can see that color is like really really pretty it's a really pretty um, color it kind of reminds me of fuchsia like more of like a it's almost like a, burg a burgundy ish pink color I have to say so and I also have a little braid here in the front which is for the baby hairs so I'm gonna go ahead and put it on my mannequin just so you guys can get a better visual of what it looks like and how it turned out so my mannequin does have a like a new stocking cap on so Okay, so this is how it turned out, as you can see. Make sure everything is, okay, it looks like my camera's focusing. Okay. As you can see, the closure area looks really natural. wear it apart in the middle or you can wear it a little off to either side if you choose so yeah so this is the front and the sides the back here other side and then back to the front here so so yeah like I said I just wanted to come on here you know really quickly and just show you all how the unit turned out and give you my pros and cons so this time I purchased eight packs of hair and I only wound up using seven and a half packs I do still have some hair left over so I feel like this time I was able to, how can I say, I was able to get the wig made, I was able to complete the wig actually because I feel like I had a better uh, plan, like I, I knew what I was trying to do this time as to before when I first purchased the hair, I kind of like, I feel like I didn't really, I don't want to say I didn't know what I was doing, but I feel like this time I, you know, planned it a lot better. So. Um, 
Would I purchase this hair again? Probably not. Um, that is because I feel like I can make my own spring twist and I feel like this hair is a little bit on the expensive side considering how many packs a person may need, especially if you want to do it as a wig. If you're doing it on your own head as crochet braids, I'm not sure how many packs you would need, but I do know when you're making a wig, you need at least, I would just tell you, purchase eight packs flat out. So I feel like it is a bit, it can get actually pretty pricey once you purchase the hair, if you purchase a lace closure, you purchase the cap, like, you know, all that starts to add up. So for me, I think I'm done purchasing the, the, the bomb twist hair and stuff like that. So... Um, but overall, I do feel like the hair was easy to work with. Um, it was easy to crochet it onto the cap. I didn't have an issue with that. And the color is really, really pretty and it's something different. So that was the initial reason why I purchased it a second time. But um, overall, you know, I feel like if you're a person that doesn't have time to make spring twists or make bomb twists and you want something that looks natural and that's lightweight, I would say, you know, check these twists out. They are very lightweight. The unit that I made is very lightweight. It's not heavy. You know, when you're making a wig, if you put it on and you feel like the wig is too full, later on you can always just take some twists off. So, you know, I think that's great. So, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if any one of you has purchased this hair before. And if you did, you, you know, make, if you did crochet onto your braids, how many packs did you, you know, did you use? And if you made it into a wig, how many packs did you use and also how did it turn out so um let me know what you guys think about this video if it was helpful or enjoyable or anything like that if you have any questions or comments below definitely feel free to um comment below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can and i'll definitely will leave a link to the, um the other videos reviewing the same hair and i'll also will leave a link to the hair if anyone wants to purchase it and I will have this wig on my website if anyone's interested in purchasing it as well. So um, be on the lookout for that on my website as well. And, you know, thank you guys for watching. Definitely check out my website. I have some new wigs up and new styles and things like that. Don't forget to su subscribe to my mailing list to be in a note when I have new videos, coupon codes, uploads, and things of that sort. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you all for watching and see you all in the next one.